triangle proofs in three simple steps. Mark it up. Pick your theorem. Theorem will help you set up your proof. Let's do proofs together right now, step by step, and I'll review the theorems as we need them. All right, let's use the given information to figure out what we're working with here. First off, CD bisects angle ACB. So we have an angle bisector, which means these two angles on the top are congruent to each other. Then they're telling us that CD is perpendicular to AB. They form two 90 degree angles. That's what perpendicular means. So I know those two angles are congruent. And then there's a side that they're sharing that's between the two angles. And then since they share that side, that side's congruent as well. So the theorem we're going to be able to use here is angle side angle. Let's wipe away the video magic and do the proof the way you would see it on a piece of paper. Mark up your diagram. CD bisects angle ACB. So these two angles are congruent. We know the side they share is congruent. And we know that those two angles down below are both 90 degrees. So those are congruent. ASA along the side here is going to help me organize my proof. For the first angle, CD bisects angle ACB. B, that's given. Angle ACD is congruent to angle BCD because that's the definition of an angle bisector. Moving to the side, CD is congruent to DC and the reason is reflexive property. Now we need to move down to the last angle and this one's going to take a couple steps. CD is perpendicular to AB, that's given. And when you have perpendicular lines, you form two right angles. So angle CDA comma CDB are both right Right angles. That's the definition of perpendicular. And then you do have to state it. It seems logical, but you have to say it in a proof. Angle CDA is congruent to angle CDB because all right angles are congruent. I know, I know. That seems really logical. And this is one of the reasons why proofs are tough, but you get the hang of it. You are moving in baby steps <laughs> and building your case to the end where you say triangle ACD is congruent to triangle BCD. And the reason is is angle side angle congruence theorem. Hey, if you got some value out of this, it would help me out a lot if you would like and subscribe so this channel can grow on YouTube. Thank you. To watch another proof, click into this video next.